Point sixty four. I'm going to show you what I think about it. This is talking tech. Tech! That's what I'm talking about. Subscribe! Okay, so first of all, that startup was actually about 30 seconds. It's not that fast. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about what I think about the Pine Phone, Pine 64 Pine Phone Plasma with Majora OS. With Majora OS. In this video, I'll tell you what I think about it, so stay tuned. So I got this phone about a couple weeks ago. And I've been using it, and there's some ups and there's some downs. So I'll be telling all about it in this video. So this is the box. I unboxed it in the last video. So watch that, because there's some cool like features and stuff. So here's the phone itself. I already put on a case. The case is flimsy. It's not that good of a case. But what can you expect? So um, I'm just gonna open it real quick for you. Right there. So the case is flimsy, but what do you expect? Just plastic, cheap plastic. And then the phone itself right here. Has like a nice camera looking, the logo, USB C, and then the basic on and loudness. Let's pop that back in. And also, it has the aux thing, aux port. So, in this video, I'm just gonna be talking about giving you a tour. I'll be giving you a tour and then talking about the accessory that it came with. So, first of all, it came with a USB charging cable, USB. C to USB A charging cable. It's about two feet long. And then the phone itself. And you could buy a set uh you could buy a dongle with it. Ethernet, two USB ports, and an HDMI to the phone. I'll talk about it later. And yeah, so the phone itself, it's really cool because as I said in the previous video. It has like ports on the back that you can switch off stuff and that's really good like so they won't like track you you turn off Wi-Fi turn off microphone camera and stuff like that and it's pretty good and it's a removable battery and an SD card slot it's up to two terabytes and there's also the SIM card so now that I talked about the phone features I'll show you the OS so the OS you turn it on and it brings it up to the screen like this. Date, time, and then you go up. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it like like that. Like you put it like this and then kind of like blocky. But sometimes it gives you like the leg. So it's real time. So sometimes it does this, so you just turn it off. And then turn it back on. Oh shoot. Well, what do you expect? This is still um, the test phase. Please stand by. Okay, so you're all gonna th thank me after this if you're planning to get one of these. So as you saw, it wasn't working. And the problem, I troubleshooted, and the problem was that when I was connecting it to an external monitor, and I, when I was using it as a PC, you would normally turn on the setting, so this would turn off, and you would see the whole screen on your monitor. But when I unplugged it, it still thought that it was using the monitor. So this was malfunctioning. So I plugged it back into the monitor, and then I turned it back on, so this would be the main screen. And then, it made it work. And then I unplugged it, and it made it work. So you're gonna, th like, that was a really, really big tip for these Pine phones. So there's a display configuration, a widget, and then um, if you turn it on, so this will be the main, then it will work. But when you plug it into a PC, you have to switch it, I mean uh, like a monitor, then you have to switch it so the monitor would be the main one. So okay, so when you turn it on, you swipe up, put in your password, enter, and then you get a screen with the bar, 
And then you could put also the time. The way you do that, you just hold it. And then you just click add widget. Just add widget and wallpaper configuration. The wallpaper is fine with me, so I just do add widget. You just hold it. You press and hold. Add a widget. And then right here, display. Click it. And right here, it's like a display configuration. You could choose different display settings. Like, it, you, this could be the main one, the monitor could be off. Or the other way around, both of them can be the same clone. Or you could like drag, like a. Like, you could drag from one another. And yeah. So. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that away because it doesn't look neat. Okay, so right, so right now, you have these. You have like phone, that's for calling, spacebar, that's for texting, and then phone book, that's your contacts. And then they all work synchronously. So like whatever in the phone book pops out on the spacebar and phone because you need the contacts to like text and call. So you swipe up. You swipe up, and then as, as you can see, like, oh my god, wait, sorry. So this phone, it's like when you switch it, it's like clunky, but it's fine. It's better than not working. And I also found out when you go against like that, and then you like switch it, it's like it lags a lot. See, so even open the app. Okay, so when you swipe up, and sometimes this happens, it like thinks the widget is behind the wallpaper. So it's like really hard um, to change it. So you just do add widget. Well, this phone is like still in the like the beta, so I wouldn't be mad at it. You just have to like work around the problems. So you just hold it, add widget, and then. Okay, I'll just show you that. So this is fine. Okay, so it also has these notifications that expire after like connected to internet or anything, and then after a while they just close, or you just click it and close it by yourself. Okay, so you swipe up to see all the apps. There is multiple pre-downloaded apps, but you can also download them from the Discover um, this the app called Discover. And that is basically that is basically like the Play Store or App Store. So you swap up, and then there's a Buho. That's there's Buho, the first one. That's um, sticky notes. There's calculator. There's calendar. There's clock. There's Angelfish. That's browser. There's Discover. That's the Play Store. There's Index. That is um, the like file explorer type of app. And then there's KD Connect, KD Connect SMS. Those are like, I don't touch them because they're not that important. And then there's Locksmith, Keithmith. It keeps all your, um, all your like, passwords and accounts safe. And then there's Gallery, there's a gallery, those like for themes and all that. There's Coco, those are like picture viewers. There's Congress, those are like different meetings. There's Ketrip, that's like the, um, that's like the map that you can use. There's Megapixels, that's the camera. Noda that's for taking notes. Neo chat is like a social media kind of thing. There's the ocular that's a file viewer. P sensor it's like for sensing like how hot is your phone, like the CPU, how much it's taking up and all that. There's a recorder, voice recorder, settings. There is settings. There's settings. And then there is telegram, terminal, wave, and weather. So telegram is social media, terminals to code. Wave is like for um, for health, and then weather is for weather. Yeah, and that's basically it. So the camera on here is not perfect. It's about five megapixels, and the front one is even less. And the it's kind of bad. But for how big it is, it should be good. But it's not that important because this is a privacy phone and you would use it for privacy. And these apps are not that great, so you would obviously go like on the on discover the 
an app store, play store, and you would download stuff. So you could like, it's like basically like Android or app, like Apple. You just click on it, and you could like drag them around. You could drag them on the home screen. You could drag them onto the taskbar thing. See, just click on it, and you could drag it around, and it'll sort them out. And then that's basically it. So that's basically it. And then for the phone, so it's basically normal. On the back says the SD card slot. I showed you in the last video. SIM card slot. There's the switches. They're pretty small, and then there's like a tiny um, thing. Well, I'm not gonna say it again. It's like a bunch of different stuff. It's in the last video. I'll leave a link in the below. And then the case I also showed in my previous videos. And then the box I also showed in my last video. So this is basically. As I said, normal thing, and then this is like the star, not the star, but like the wingman of this phone. So when you plug it in, you have the options to connect it to wired Ethernet, wired internet, Ethernet. You have the option to connect it to HDMI, external um, display. And the funny thing is here that look at this. See that? This is HDMI. You know what that is? That's DisplayPort. I don't think they have like the permission from the HDMI thing to have their logo on it. So that's kind of weird. It has two USB slots. And then right here, you, there is a USB um, for charging. USB-C um, in for charging. And then this is to plug it in. So it looks pretty neat. They cost about like $20 if, if you come with the phone. And it has a like logo. And it's metal, that's a good part. It's metal. And it's really thick, like it's good. So you just plug it in, and you can connect it. That's what I use. I use like an external mouse, an external mouse, an external keyboard to connect to my and then wired ethernet, and then I use this, plug it in here. I'll just open this up. You plug it in here. And you could charge it. And the cool part is, it's not a computer. It might like you'll be using it as a computer, but you could still charge by USB, and that's really sick. That's cool. Okay, so that's it with the um, hardware stuff. And now I'll just talk more about the phone itself. So phone, it's. Um, I, th I tried calling on it. If you want to see an unboxing video, check out the video before. And if you want to see me talk more about it, check out the video before the previous video. I'll leave links in the description. Check those out.